Paul O'Grady is live at five. First, though, a pretty unusual wish list. Indeed or no deal. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Is where this is where we manufacture the dreams. Uh, yesterday, Andreas has got the opportunity now to take his mother to Cyprus for a, a really emotional trip. But that's fantastic to make one of his dreams come true. Uh, the West Wing. I've been looking in their files, and um, there are some contrasting dreams. Very interesting um, ambitions here. Very different scale of ambition. For example, Jackie would love to go to Venice. Yes. And she'd also like to cruise around the Greek islands. Yes. That's why she's here. She wants some money for that. Mavis wants a new bed. Right? <laughs> True. And then we've got Kath, who, as I've mentioned before, would like to be fitted for a bespoke bra. <laughs> and then would like to help her. <laughs> <laughs> here come the names. So, are you going to bring a big dream, a little dream, or something in between? Yes, it is you, Kath. What? Me? <gasps> Go to no way. No way. No way. It's not time. <laughs> no, I haven't been on long enough. You don't seem very keen, but please, take the walk of wealth. Come on, I'll do all this for you. Right, there you go, away you go. Well, that was a very interesting reaction to your name. Wasn't it just? Totally unexpected. Totally unexpected. Totally. You are Kath Davison from Doncaster, and you are a baker. Yes. And you are famous for your cakes. Yes. So you brought a cake? I have. I fetched these cakes, and everybody's got one. But I couldn't fetch them all out just now. But later on, everybody who to was in show today has got a cake. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. I didn't have time to make you one. Oh. I'm sorry, I just didn't have enough time. Oh. But I have fetched you a jar of my homemade jam. Oh, what sort of jam is it? Damson. Damson, <laughs> lovely. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Who are these lovely people? This is my daughter, Julie, and my grandson, Joshua. Oh. And... And that's what, he, that's what Joshua did for me just before oh. I came here. Oh, well done, Josh. That's great. Oh, very good likeness to... To me. To Grandma. It is very good. Ah, that's good. Um, you want to buy a leg? I do. I want to buy a new uh, false leg, prosthetic leg for my husband. One, what he can swim in and just be like everybody else. We can go to a hotel and he can stand up in the shower instead of having to make pre-arrangements. Have you got this in the shower? Have you got that? It's a very unusual dream. It is, isn't it? Yes, so if anybody got a false leg they don't want, we'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> Any offers? No, no. You want a, a, a bra? I do. I believe this is something that all the family know about, that you, you would very much like to have your own bespoke well, yeah, bra. Yeah, I want one made. Men get their trousers made to which way they dress. I would like a bra how I dress. Good. So, uh, on your shopping list uh, from your game is a leg mm -hmm. and a bra. Yes. What else? Me and my daughter would like uh, to open an angel cafe mm -hmm. with the angel theme. 
because my daughter's quite in tune uh, with angels and things and we wanted a cafe with a difference. We wanted somewhere where you could relax, have an ice drink and talk about other people's experiences. Mm -hmm. Quite a spiritual experience. Yes, yeah, exactly. You could divide it so you could have one wing there and one, and wing, one there. wing there. Exactly. Wing, wing. Wings, angels, wing, wings. wings. <laughs> Do me a favour, otherwise I'll keep going on like this and we won't play the game. That was very funny. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Are you happy to go on with the game? Yes. I need you please to confirm you chose box number nine at random I did. before the game began. Sealed by the independent adjudicator who sealed all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Kath, go for it and good luck. Thank you. Away you go. <laughs> this is so exciting. I can't, so I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. It's so exciting. Right, let's have a look. Now, presumably, you're going to keep box number eight because it's the cake to the end. We'll see. Joshua. Oh, yeah, Joshua's picked number Chose one. number one. I hadn't thought of that. So will we keep that one to the end? Mind. Uh, box number three. Abby. Away we go, Abby. Kath, you lovely lady. I hope I can pull out a blue for you. Yeah. Good old postman Pat. He's called me postman Pat that many times. I had a dream last night that I was driving around Bristol in my little red car with my little cat Jessie delivering letters. You're a lovely lady. Let's hope this is a blue. <laughs> How random is that? Alice. Thank you, Alice. Good luck, Kath. Wow. I love the way she got it. All right. <laughs> Jackie, number one. Complete the round, please, Jackie. We've discovered since we got here they've got the same surname. Yes, we are. They might be related. So good luck, Auntie Kath. Oh, that's sweet, Kath. Quite like me calling her Auntie. <laughs> Very nice thing I to do if you might be in the same family. I think that would have been the Dear Mark. No! No! <laughs> she was just about to talk to Dermot about oh. HGV driving. We amused him there, Kath. Really amused him. Yeah, there we go. Hello. Hey, I'm good, thank you. Very, very good. Oh, is it? Yes, of course it is. It's Shrove Tuesday. Oh, happy pancake day. Oh, he loves you. He's been looking forward to your game and he's horrified you're playing so soon. Yeah. She, he doesn't want you to go. Good. How could the farmer help her with her bra? <laughs> Farmers make bras. They make sheepdog bras. Oh, rounds them up and points them in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Oh. But she's feisty. She knows her own mind. She's incredibly determined and clearly you could be more than a handful 
eight and a half thousand pounds. Eight and a half thousand. You've taken out twenty thousand. You've taken out the fifty thousand, but nothing else of great significance. So what do you think of your opening offer? It's very good, actually. I weren't expecting that. It's very nice. But, but. nobody leaves on the first round. Well, nobody yet. Nobody yet. Someone will do it. I'm going to keep trend. I'm not going to quit. So, right. eight and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, but no deal. Thank you. Johnny. Johnny. Seven. <laughs> you all right today, my man? I'm loving it, yes. Oh, you're loving it. Settled in nicely at the hotel? Absolutely, yeah. Great. You sleeping on the inside these days? Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. Kath, wish you all the luck in the world, and Thanks. I've been practicing as well. Oh, oh what have you been practicing? <laughs> Ruining people's games? Yes. Oh, 75,000. Oh, oh, my word. I'm going to Dermot. I wanted to go to you last time. So. Dermot, box 20. Thank you, Dermot. Good luck, Kat. I hope it's blue for you. Oh, dear, this is so difficult. Well, let's stop right now. Mm, good idea. Have a little rest. Kath has promised that she's going to make me a cake. So, come back after the bake. See ya. She has very kindly uh, baked everybody a cake, uh, including the banker, and uh, I have some jam. And you've been very generous to us. Unfortunately, at the moment, your game is not giving the banker the slightest reason to be generous to you. So we definitely need to hit these blues. Before the next call, take one out of the top left, please, Kath. Ross, number 12. Good luck, Kath. Oh, no. Right. Ten grand. You like the reds. You do like the reds. <laughs> all right, let's go. No! I was just waiting. I was testing you on that one. Well, whether I can count to eight. Yeah. Hello. You read her differently to the way that other people read her. She does look calm and determined. No, I wouldn't cross Kath. Thank you very much. Despite you taking the 75,000, he is sticking at 8,500. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> but the game's not over yet, so... Thank you very much, Mr. Banker. But no deal. <laughs> Is she like this at home? Did she try and row you out of everything, John? Yes, yes, she just oh, saying, yeah. dear. Well, that, I don't have much to do here, but already I'm redundant. <laughs> okay, go for it, man. Eight and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much. No deal. Thank you. <laughs> Number 14. OK. Five oh, grand. Man. You love your hey. reds. Look. Oh, Look. Eight blues. Oh. Oh. 
Kath, you're going to have to have not only a, a blue round at some point, you're going to have to have a blue run, run. now. Gonna have to, yeah, I know, Anna. OK, Anna, number eight. Hang on, sorry, Anna. You were going on about the fact that your grandson put the number one on good luck. Oh, yeah. And you went and took it when you weren't thinking. I did, yeah. You've got the cake with number eight. Do you really want it? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Mum. Yes, Julie. Mum. Eight on your cake, one from Joshua, and you've box number nine. Eight plus one is nine. Magical things sometimes happen if we look. Oh, I can feel the angels starting to come into this. Magical things happen if you look. Sherry. Number 10. OK, Cherry. Thank you. We're going now with number 10, not number 8. I prayed the blue for you. Oh. Well, it's a red and it's all right. A thousand. <laughs> but it is amazing that we still, at this point in the game, have eight blue boxes out there. Doreen, box number 11. Come on, Doreen, get up to the top left-hand side, please. I hope I bring your luck to you. You've been lovely to me. Might have come a little late for the offers. Might have to get the money out of yeah, the boxes. Yeah. Hello. Oh. OK. OK, the banker says I must listen very carefully. He's got something very important to say. Wow. That... Do you want me to pass that on, or is it just between the two of us? Might be a bit heavy for everyone. OK. He's made a very interesting discovery. What the banker has found out, Kath, is eight plus one is nine. <laughs> Obviously, how you use that information is entirely up to you. I think you're up against it, aren't you? You, you were worried about Kath, and now you've discovered that her daughter, Julie, is the new Einstein. <laughs> thank you, banker. <laughs> Thirteen and a half thousand it is. All oh, right, thank you. Okay. Oh, right. Eight and a half first time. Add five. Mm. Ooh. It's a good offer, that, isn't it? <laughs> cat, cat, no. cat. Okay. You've got plenty of blues to get out, so oh, come oh, on, yeah, <laughs> get your finger out and get the blues <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, our number one pundit there. Well, in the second half, they've got to get their figure out. <laughs> Goodness yeah. sake. Is this my second offer? No, it's your third offer. Because I've gone really your first... lightheaded. No, it's a... have you gone lightheaded? Yes, I have. Do you feel all right? Oh, yeah, sit down. another minute. Right. OK. Are you serious? You're yeah, I'm serious. Oh, no, I'm just all right. I just need a minute. Do you want to stop? I just right? forgot where we were. Where are we? Right, we had eight and a half in the first offer. Right. Then he stuck and you had right. eight and a half. That's what's thrown me. Yeah. And now we're at the third offer. Third offer. And he's upped it 5,000 to 13 and a half. Right. Kath, believe in yourself. And keep I do. Tough. I do believe in myself. And I do believe... What? What's saying to me? Oh, so are you getting some... Yeah. Are you? Mm. Does that happen very often? Now and again, and it's usually pretty good. Gosh. Come on, share okay. it with us. What do you get? What do you get? Well, what do you sense? It was too much of a shock for me when, it, when my name came out. I wasn't expecting it. I know we don't expect it, but do you know what I mean? It, it came so quickly. Yeah. And 
you think this has impacted upon your yes, game? Yes, it has. Yeah, yeah, it has. And so how can we recover the situation, Kath? I don't think it's going to turn out very well. Mum, when all your cakes go wrong, you can still send them ca cakes out sparkling, uh, and everybody loves them don't when you them. think when you think they're wrong. So believe in yourself. I am believing in me. This and is and don't the let don't let just the urgency of you coming off a panel change that direction. So what just recapping, just recapping on this. So it was a shock when you were pulled it out, was, but, you, yeah. but you feel that this surprise has, in some way, it's impacted not, it's upon your game. It's knocked your balance out. Yeah. It's knocked your balance yeah, out. And by has. balance, what do you mean? I am. It's like tilted me. Whereas. What some spiritual yeah, force it's, within it's, you? Yeah. Your energy. Yeah, it's knocked it out. This is most unusual. But I always want the player to have the best possible game. And I'm going to call a break right now, which will give you a little bit of time. Yeah. Just have another bit of refreshment and have a think about this and hopefully compose yourself and we'll get you thinking straight and level. Okay? okay? Right. We're doing it for Kath. Come back. I do think this is a very, very interesting and extremely unusual game. Do please return for Kath's game. Chat, a little bit of a calming chat, and how are you feeling? Are you feeling a bit I'm better? I'm feeling a lot better now. Right. Thank you. Uh, but you are quite an intense person, it emerges. Yeah. And you do sense things and feel things, and you believe in angels. Yes, I do. And are you in touch with the medium world? No. Uh, I could be, but I don't want to be. I'll leave that to my daughter. You do feel something about this yeah. game, and that's what was unsettling. Yes, it is. I don't want you to be unsettled. I want you to think about thirteen and a half thousand pounds. That's the offer. Yes, very good offer. It's a very good offer. It is indeed. Um, but it has to be said, you still have three of the power five. It's your game, Kath. I'm ready now. Thirteen and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr. Banker. It's a very generous offer. No deal. <laughs> All blue. Right. Come on, they're all with you, Rich. Kath. Rich. Go on, babes. It's just so rich and box 22 together just suggests so Are much. Are you trying to scare me? No, oh, but go on, but go on what? then. If you if you want to do it, if you want to do it, you it's getting fine. any feelings? Yeah. <laughs> Spooky feelings. Yeah. Scary ones. Really scary. Since the moment he turned up, I've had serious. <laughs> <laughs> now come on, remember, remember above everything else, it's a random game. It's random game. game it's um, just luck. This one gives you uh, the spot that you need. I hope so, soon to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Recognise the colour? Two more of those. Mavis, Fox 13. Thank you, Maeve. Good luck, Kat. I hope this is a blue. Thank you, you. So do we. Ooh, 15,000. <laughs> <laughs> All back, John. <laughs> OK, it's not a major hit, but um, you want to get to eight box with one of those top left out of yes, the way. Yes, I do. I need that penny. Ian. 
Number 19. Thank you, Ian. 1P or 10P. That's our target area. Yeah, fantastic one, Kath. All the best. Take it away, please. Yep. A box with three of the power five. Hello. Hello. He said right at the very beginning he could see something in you, and now we've reached this point in the game, it's manifesting itself. Ah, here is something he learnt from your daughter, Julie. Ah, yes, one plus eight. <laughs> right. <laughs> one plus eight, Julie. Eighteen thousand pounds. <gasps> That is good money. Think about it. How much that means to you. <laughs> Don't be fooled by what is there. I mean, you just think about it. That's good money. And that's real money. Thank you, Sherry. What does that money mean to you? Can a you lot. buy what you want it to with it? It means a great deal. Can you buy what you want to with it? Can you get a new leg? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, John. Cat. You've got, to, you've got to remember something. You weren't prepared to come out, but for some reason you were chosen. So I know it's a, it, it might look a bit hard at the moment, but it, it is could very actually difficult. be your day. Very difficult. Thanks, Trish. And we've got a, I've still got two good figures there. In fact, three good figures three good there. Yeah. Kath, what was your first reaction when he offered you that? It was very nice. <laughs> Nobody's but if you take two blues, me that much you can afford before. to take one of the big reds. And I could take three big reds, because I've had a run of reds. And it seems as though it is a red day today. So... I think I'm ready for a question now. I, I don't want to disappoint people but this money does mean a lot to me. And I've never had this much money. And on this occasion, I think the day is not my day. So, I'm ready for a question. 18,000 pounds, deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr. Banker. Deal. <laughs> Point. That, it's very generous of you to worry that you're spoiling people's entertainment, but this is at the sharp end. Mm. The money is £18,000, and on this show, we never lose sight of the value of money. Clearly, it means a lot to you. We'll talk about indeed. that in a moment. I think what is particularly interesting is that you are a very powerfully spiritual person, and you have come to the conclusion this is not your day to use your own expression. Kath, I hope you're right. No, actually, Kath, I hope you're fundamentally wrong. Yes. <laughs> We've got to flip it over the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where would you have gone? Box 21, Derek. Derek, welcome to the game. Thank you, Noel. It's great to have you with us. And would you kindly open your very first box? 500 pounds. We'd have been very happy with that. So now all focus has to be on those two in the next two boxes. David, number two. David, she said she had the feeling it wasn't going to be her day. After that box, we were beginning to think that maybe it really was going to be her day. Uh, would you please open box number two and reveal one of the big sums of money? Oh, oh my word. Oh, Kath. It's now feeling that there was certainly one more round in this. 
Box number four. Wayne. Wayne. Wreck the game. Ricky, come on. No! Oh. God, I won't believe it. Oh, Kath, you walked too soon. I did indeed. You walked with 18,000, you produced an all-blue round, you would have been offered... Hello. Go on. A drop of consolation. <laughs> well, he's twisting it around. Oh, he's saying on. you're absolutely right about your senses. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your senses because it really, really isn't your lucky day. Because he would have been offering you fifty-six thousand oh, pounds. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, you did get your wires crossed. Your interpretation of it being not your lucky day was wrong. What it, the feelings you were getting must have related to the fact that you dealt too soon. Too soon yeah. And therefore, in that sense, it isn't your lucky day. Where are we going now? 17. Box 17. Come on, Colin. Colin. We need, with some urgency now, to prove that quarter million is not sitting there. Lovely woman, Kath. Oh, no, it gets worse. Four blues in a row. The lady who could not find any blues at the beginning of the game can't find anything else. If this is £100, it is an unbelievable disaster, Kath. Sarah, number 16. Sarah, you've got to blow one of those two away, otherwise she's right on the edge of the deal or no deal. Dream finale, the 100 and the 250. We've got to find one of those. If it's blue, unbelievable disaster. Go, Sarah. I saw hope as one of the big ones, Kath. It's got to be. 100,000, yeah, OK. <laughs> Dream scenario's gone. <laughs> oh, my word. But if this is blue, I don't know which way you're going to turn. To the right for eight or left for 18? If this is the 100, you walked away from at least a guaranteed 35,000. Nearly double where you dealt. I'll keep that one because of what we did. So OK, I'll because stick to that's that. the cake. Yeah. George, if this is the blue, she would have been guaranteed 35,000 at this stage, and undoubtedly she would hear the biggest offer of the game so far. George, away you go. It's got to be the quarter of a million. No, 35,000, what a contrast. What an unbelievable contrast you would have created. 100 pounds or the quarter of a million. Oh. Kath, did you bring the biggest prize in deal to the table? <laughs> Wow. Hello. Go on. Go on. Eight plus one. <laughs> Eighty-one thousand pounds. <laughs> he would have offered you eighty-one thousand, not the one eight that you went with, but eight one. Ah. Oh. Right. This is uncomfortable, isn't it? It, it is. all comes down it to is. the interpretation does, of, yeah. of the feelings around, is this my lucky day? Mm. In the sense that if this is £100, you did manage to coerce £18,000 out of his wallet. But should your, should your senses have detected that actually you have brought to the table the one, the number one that everyone wants, have you just walked away? being our second quarter millionaire. Oh, no. Never mind, Mum. Keep going. You've got a lovely amount of for what you wanted. I want to I find out what, what that means. What, think about what you just said and we'll come back to it. Hannah, can you just uh, very quickly open box number eight and reveal £100? Thank you. You just said... I was, I was so mixed up, I, could, I just couldn't seemed to focus on what I wanted to do. It was just a mass of fuzz. It was just... I just couldn't think clear at all. It was just so strange. Kath, let's put it in a context. There's a lot of people who, on a regular basis, say, it's not my lucky day. But very few of them go away with £18,000. That's pounds. true, isn't it? That's very true. £18,000, Kath. <laughs> I think it was your I didn't think I'd got 18. I thought it was just eight. Wow.
What about that? A quarter of a million comes to the table again. And the lesson I think I take out of that game, people say, this is the simplest game. Sometimes they say it in quite a derogatory way. This is such a simple game. No, cats prove yet again. It's tough when you get in the crazy chair. See you tomorrow. And stay with us in four as we join Paul O'Grady next.